don't have what happened on the most important day in the world. Emancipation Proclamation. Black folks independent in America. You ain't thought about it. The reason why you don't think about it? But we don't talk about it. Ain't nobody gonna save us. Hell, we don't even save us ourselves. You never have seen in a neighborhood where you read in no paper where some Jews did a drive-by. They don't kill their own people because they are taught from child up what God done for them. So they stay together and we have to do the same thing and preach from the pulpit about January the 1st and that's our day of atonement. Can you, could you realize or think in your wildest mind or your shortest mind, in your long one, could you just think if for one minute if the bishop and all the rest of them will take time out and preach during the month of December. See, the Hebrews run the Ten Commandments on you all through the fourth month, just before Good Friday. You know all about the struggle they went through. They tell you all about the Holocaust. But watch them go home and pull out your calendar. It's got Neighbor's Day in there, Mother's Day, Father's Day, the Holocaust, the the, uh, uh, all them different four or five days that the Hebrews is in your, but it don't have nothing about January 1st, just January 1st, New Year. That's the most important day in the world. And one of the most historical things that's ever happened because it's the first day and the last time the White House has been open on that day. Hope Obama opened it up this time when he get back. And he definitely gonna get back because God has already shown me that. So don't even worry about it. Except somebody tell you, I ain't worried about all them old uh, statistic and thing, because Ralph have already said that God has already told him. Now, if you can read a book, uh, right? Now, if you can read a book in a Bible, and there ain't one thing in the Bible that God said. Everything in the Bible, including the five that Moses wrote, God inspired him. He never met Abraham. Uh, Abraham wrote all about him. So everything in the Bible. Man said God said. Yes, he did. Now, if you can believe those people who was born 10,000 years before the birth of Christ, then you can believe me because I'm right here with you. <laughs> you understand? So if I tell you God told me something, believe me, you don't know them. You met me today, but you ain't never met one of them. Huh? I give the Even the preacher know that. He ain't never met one of them. Preach all about them. In the end, know everything about that Bible. Know more about that Bible than you know about himself because he done forgot about a lot of things in his life, but he know that Bible. <laughs> So it's a lot of grace for the pastor. <laughs> so what I am trying to say, brothers and sisters, January the 1st, get on that tweeting and that all that stuff y'all do with them telephone. Bishop over there doing it right now. See, see, see. Okay, get on that phone. Send a message out on your Facebook. Let everybody know, January the 1st, at 12 o'clock, Washington, D.C. time, we going to pause and thank God for him signing that Emancipation Proclamation Amen. 150 Amen. years ago. Amen. And on that night, on, June, on January, what we do in Stockton Black Leadership Council, and I have about two or three of them here with me now, Reverend William back there in the back, that's why I keep saying Reverend. And I have Deacon Collingham over there, and I have um, Mr. Johnson over here, and one of our first black farmers in Stockton, Sam Bunk. What we do, when the sun go down, on the 31st of uh, December, we fast, we come together and pray, and we fast till the sun set the next day. And then we asked everybody for 36 hours, because that's what happened. They fast, that's when they went out. Then after that, after he signed it the next day, he went back to make some corrections in the White House on his signing the Emancipation Proclamation, because there was still some mistakes in there. The president went back, and eight, eight o'clock he was through. But after they rejoiced all day long, the next day, that night, they went over at 12 o'clock over in Virginia and stayed in the church and prayed and rejoiced to 6 o'clock the next morning on the 2nd. Am I right? Yep. So now, brothers and sisters, there's a lot of things that not, is not told because some of us are ashamed to say what God have done for us because we feel embarrassed. Some of us are ashamed to talk about slavery because we all know it was bad. But them Hebrews will run slavery on you every day tell you all about the Holocaust. The Holocaust didn't last as long as we stayed in slavery in America. It didn't last that long. So we lost more people, slaves, being sodomized, 
and everything else that you could even well, imagine well. that could happen to I was because that was his property. Do what he want to do with his right. property. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. so, I'm, I'm, so what we have to do is we have to stop and start thinking. God, my grandmother used to tell me, is a jealous God. If you come to his party, I'm going to give you an example. The richest people in the world is who? The Hebrews. We call them Jews. Jews yeah. But they're on your radio station. Mm -hmm. They own big banks. They own almost everything. Mm -hmm. Am I right or wrong? They're rich they're people in the world. They're the only people that give God a party, a thank you. Every year they shut down, even before the birth of Christ. They shut down everything and thank God during that 24-hour ritual for freeing them from slavery. Now, since God do that for them, I start doing the same thing, shutting down on the 31st. And God had blessed me real good. And I can tell you the truth, I ain't ashamed to tell you. So you, you understand what we have to do, brothers and sisters. Rev, Bishop, come on back over here. You know this, Barry. You don't let nobody walk out of your church when you talk. Come on back over here. Barry, just respect it. Come back over here. So what we have to do, what we have, what we have to do, I wake up preacher up when he's sleeping in church. Don't worry about it. You know they go to sleep on you in a minute. But nevertheless, what we have to do is start getting on our phone, let everybody know what January 1st is, because everybody don't know. Right. Wake them up. Yes. Could you imagine as 68,000, 68 million black people, and in between what we done did all this crossover thing now, would wake up, <laughs> praise the Lord, sister, yeah, and wake up, <laughs> and wake up, <laughs> and thank God, yeah. and let everybody know that January 1st is our Freedom Day. That's the most important day in the world. Yeah, really. Sir. It doesn't fluctuate. If it's on a Friday or Thursday or Tuesday or Sunday, it's January the 1st. They don't move it around to the weekend like they do all the other time. Am I right or wrong? That's right. Thank you, brother. Right. So, thank you. Amen.